From ancient pathogens waking up from centuries of slumber to massive craters spewing potent greenhouse gases, these chilling discoveries are sending shockwaves through the scientific community. Dive into the heart of the frozen frontier and uncover the hidden dangers that scientists fear could reshape our world forever. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have the Mercury Reservoirs. The Arctic isn't just melting, it's unlocking vast stores of hidden toxins, and some of the most unsettling surprises involve mercury lurking beneath the ice. Scientists have found that permafrost in the far north holds staggering amounts of this dangerous metal, nearly twice as much as what's already present in all other soils, the oceans, and the atmosphere combined. As global warming softens what was once permanently frozen ground, mercury begins seeping into rivers, flowing freely toward the Arctic Ocean, and slipping silently into the food web. Local communities who have lived off these waters and marine mammals for generations may be forced to reckon with contaminated meals that carry serious health risks. In our number 9 spot today, we have the methane craters in the Russian Arctic. Giant craters, wide enough to swallow a building, are ripping open across the Russian Arctic, and they're such appearance is rattling scientists to the core. In places like the remote Yamal Peninsula, these eerie holes aren't created by meteors or bombs, but by colossal bursts of methane gas erupting from beneath the thawing permafrost. These explosive events are more than just freak geological fireworks, they're a glaring signal that the once solid arctic floor is destabilizing at a troubling pace. As the permafrost melts, ancient methane, an incredibly potent greenhouse gas, escapes into the atmosphere, accelerating climate change right before our eyes. In our number 8 spot today, we have the Mount Erebus disaster. No one expected a sightseeing trip over Antarctica to end in one of the darkest chapters of aviation history, but that's exactly what happened when Air New Zealand Flight 901 slammed into Mount Erebus in 1979. The plane, carrying 237 passengers and 20 crew, was supposed to glide over the ice and return home the same evening, but a small, late night tweak to its flight coordinates meant the pilots were steering straight into a deadly trap. They thought that they were flying safely over McMurdo Sound, but thanks to a critical navigational change that no one bothered to mention, the aircraft was actually aimed right at the slopes of Mount Erebus. The aftermath was an outpouring of grief and confusion that rattled New Zealand to its core. The ensuing investigation revealed not just pilot error, initially blamed for the disaster, but a web of miscommunication and buried truths that led to a royal commission. In an unforgettable line, the judge accused Air New Zealand of offering up, quote, an orchestrated litany of lies, a phrase that left the airline's reputation in shambles and forced top level changes. Even decades later, the Mount Erebus disaster stands as a haunting reminder that sometimes the deadliest discoveries are the ones hidden right under our noses, waiting for one wrong move. In 2016, the remote Yamal Peninsula in Russia became the chilling backdrop for a nightmare no one saw coming. As the Arctic warmed, a patch of thawing permafrost revealed the decaying body of a reindeer that had died from anthrax decades earlier. What seemed like a natural thaw quickly turned deadly when dormant anthrax spores sprang back to life, unleashing a silent killer into the community. Local residents were blindsided as the ancient bacteria spread swiftly, tragically claiming a life and making several others seriously ill. This horrifying event wasn't just a freak accident, it was a warning that melting arctic soils could resurrect pathogens we thought were long eradicated. Scientists are now on high alert, fearing that as more ice melts, other forgotten diseases could emerge from their frozen tombs, posing new and unpredictable threats to human health. The Yamal tragedy underscores a terrifying reality. The Arctic's thawing isn't just about rising temperatures and disappearing ice, it's also about awakening ancient dangers that modern medicine might not be ready to handle. Next up we are talking about the polluted Greenland sharks. Greenland sharks are some of the oldest creatures on earth, and they are turning heads for all the wrong reasons as they unveil a dark secret hidden in the arctic depths. These mysterious giants, living for centuries in 
the frigid remote waters were once thought to be pristine guardians of the north, but recent studies have shocked scientists by revealing that their massive bodies are teeming with heavy metals and stubborn industrial chemicals like PCBs. These pollutants didn't originate in the Arctic. Instead, they traveled thousands of miles from bustling factories and sprawling cities, hitching rides on ocean currents and carried by the wind. As these toxins accumulate over the shark's long lives, they pose serious threats, not only to the sharks themselves, but also to the entire marine ecosystem and the indigenous communities that rely on these waters for their livelihoods. The fact that such remote and ancient creatures are now contaminated highlights a terrifying reality. Human industrial pollution has reached even the most untouched corners of our planet. At our halfway mark today, we are talking about microplastics. Hidden deep within Greenland's ancient ice lies a shocking testament to humanity's relentless plastic footprint. Microplastics embedded in snow layers dating back decades, some even a century. When scientists drilled into these frozen time capsules, they uncovered tiny synthetic particles from everyday items like textiles, packaging, and consumer products, proving that plastic pollution isn't just a modern crisis, but has been seeping into the environment for much longer than we might have thought. These minuscule invaders traveled thousands of miles, reaching one of the most remote and pristine places on Earth. The discovery is unsettling because it shows just how pervasive our plastic waste has become, infiltrating ecosystems that were once considered untouched by humanity. Microplastics in Greenland's ice could disrupt delicate Arctic food webs, harm wildlife, and eventually make their way into the diets of those relying on these ecosystems. This revelation forces us to confront the grim reality that no corner of the planet is safe from plastic pollution. As the Arctic continues to thaw, these frozen records are not just indicators of past pollution, but ominous warnings of a future where plastic could dominate even the most remote landscapes. Beneath Greenland's vast ice sheet lies a hidden relic of the Cold War, a chilling reminder that history's shadows can resurface in the most unexpected ways. Camp Century, one of several US military bases buried beneath thick layers of ice, was once a bustling hub of scientific research and secretive operations. Today, as global temperatures climb and the ice melts faster than anyone predicted, the remnants of these frozen outposts are thawing, unleashing a toxic legacy that scientists are scrambling to understand. Inside these abandoned bases, diesel fuel leaks from old generators, PCBs from electrical equipment seep into the ground, and low-level radioactive waste from experiments begins to percolate into the pristine Arctic environment. The fear is palpable. These pollutants could contaminate rivers and soil, poisoning wildlife. Imagine decades-old chemicals and radioactive materials once securely locked away, now mingling with melting ice and flowing into untouched ecosystems. The thawing of Camp Century and its toxic cargo serves as a warning that the repercussions of past conflicts can linger for centuries. Next, we are talking about the Atlanticization of the Arctic Ocean. Warm, salty Atlantic waters are invading the Arctic Ocean, sparking a silent invasion that's turning heads and raising alarms among scientists. This phenomenon, dubbed Atlanticization, is fundamentally altering the Arctic's once pristine marine ecosystem. As these warmer currents seep north, they bring with them species that have never before ventured into these icy waters. Imagine Atlantic cod swimming where only Arctic char once ruled, or invasive jellyfish drifting into regions teeming with native plankton. These newcomers disrupt established food webs, outcompeting and displacing native species that are crucial to the Arctic's very delicate balance. The shift in ocean chemistry also opens the door for new pathogens to hitch a ride. The influx of nutrient-rich waters is changing the very foundation of the marine environment, leading to unpredictable blooms of algae and altering the availability of essential nutrients. This rapid transformation not only threatens biodiversity, but also jeopardizes the stability of the entire region's climate system. Scientists fear that Atlanticization could accelerate the loss of Arctic ice, further intensifying global warming and creating a feedback loop that exacerbates environmental change. Next, we are talking about ancient fungal spores. The frozen ground in the Arctic is thawing, and it's not just melting ice that's being uncovered. We are talking about ancient fungal spores, 
some tens of thousands of years old, that are waking up from their icy slumber. These aren't your average mushrooms. Some of these prehistoric fungi have the potential to infect plants and maybe even animals. Scientists are worried because these re-emerging fungi could throw entire ecosystems out of whack. Imagine a forest where the soil chemistry suddenly changes, making it impossible for trees to survive. Or picture a tundra where familiar plants are wiped out by these ancient invaders. It's a real-life ecological thriller unfolding before our eyes, and the consequences could be dire. And finally on our list today we are talking about the forever chemicals in the Arctic wildlife. Polar bears. Those majestic rulers of the Arctic are carrying a disturbing secret within their bodies. Forever chemicals. These pollutants, officially known as PFAs, have been found in alarmingly high levels in Arctic wildlife like polar bears, seals, and seabirds. The crazy thing is, these chemicals are mainly released thousands of miles away from the Arctic through industrial activities in more populated areas. But like tiny hitchhikers, they travel on ocean currents and wind, eventually reaching the most remote corners of the planet. And here's the kicker. These chemicals don't break down in the environment. They linger, earning their nickname, Forever Chemicals, and accumulate in the bodies of animals at the top of the food chain. This means these iconic arctic creatures are facing a hidden threat that weakens their immune systems, messes with their ability to reproduce, and causes a whole host of other health problems. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye!